everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm doing a reading on a missing persons case His name is Daniel Robinson um, he is a 24 year old 24 year old male missing from Buckeye Arizona um, last seen June 23rd, leaving his work site. Um, I got this information from someone who commented on another video, uh, Monica Lynn. Thank you so much for bringing this case to me. Um, as I, you know, I don't go searching for missing persons cases. I just do what I happen to to come across and what I feel connected to. Um, and I felt some connection when looking up this young man. Oh, I don't even know what to say, but something's definitely off and something's going on here. So this young man's been missing for a cup for some time now. Um, I did look up some information i don't like going into these cases with with information um just because i like to get things intuitively and not know too much but since it's been some months i did want to make sure i cover anything that's already been put out in the media okay um what i did find is that his family is searching for answers hasn't been much media attention on this case but what i find a little odd is that um this young man um i guess from what i'm hearing his family say and co-workers is that he he was acting a little weird a little different prior to his disappearance okay um which is concerning to me um is before that he seemed you know like a bright individual um and for him to, to start acting odd all of a sudden that's that's a sign of, of something that could be going on um medically I, I i'm picking up but i don't know um it also mentioned something about um him being obsessed with some female that he met through one of his other jobs or i don't know it so we're, the weird behavior part is concerning and that his i guess his his truck or jeep was found a month later um in an area not too far from where he was last seen it looked like he was in some type of accident um but he was nowhere to be found so that that just doesn't make sense to me but i want to look into it i guess he he is originally from south carolina um I want to do this case to bring awareness to this young man. There's so many missing people out there that just doesn't get the media attention that that they deserve. Okay, um, so I want to connect with my spirit guides, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Angel Raphael. I want to connect with the spirit guides. Daniel Robinson and his spirit to get clear and accurate messages in regards to his disappearance. I only want to connect with my spirit team and the spirit of Daniel, please. Thank you so much, spirit. I want to check in the overall energy surrounding Daniel Robinson. And this could be now, this could be the time he had been missing. What's going on? 
what significant things are going on. As I'm shuffling, I'm hearing I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm hearing I'm not crazy. I don't know what that means, y'all. I'm just, I feel like I, what I hear, see, um, feel is what I give out. Oh. Okay, I'm going to stop right here. It fell out. Put this photo back up here. So, I definitely feel like something was going on with him. Okay. Okay, so... Hmm. I sense some awareness with him. So this spiritual gifts card came out. He could have been going through a spiritual awakening or, or getting messages from spirit or something. Something was, was happening with him that I feel, um, and we all have spiritual gifts, y'all. Everybody does. We all are not aware of it, though. This is showing me that he has some some type of um, sixth sense, okay? Hmm. I don't even know where to start here. New job. So I know that he was a geologist. He went out there on a, on a job that he was hired for. Um, I also, I know, um, I think he could have had another job from what I was reading. I didn't read everything, but allegedly um, he came across a female when he was dropping off something to her I think maybe he had a, a, a part-time job delivery delivering food I don't know something to that nature um, this right here is significant in his life his work now I'm being drawn to this past life lessons just because of this this pyramid makes me feel in the desert and I know he was in Arizona I'm not sure, you know but something significant I think this is just this is bringing me to um close to his work we have this desert scene here now past life lessons deals with things events cycles repeating from your past life to this one that you need to learn from okay that's significant here this also has me drawn to i feel that he's still out there something happened he could still be in this area even though I know they've searched, something is just not right. I don't feel like he's far from where his vehicle was found, okay? Let me see that right there. And we have blinded. Whatever occurred with this young man, it occurred quickly without warning. I feel like this is what this blinded card is indicating, okay? 
Hmm. You have anger. And I don't feel like this anger is 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 pointing to him. I feel like this is some someone else's anger. Something happened and someone got upset. Now, psychic attack. This could be negative thoughts. Bad dreams keeping you up at night, okay? Sometimes when we're going through the spiritual awareness of people that's, that's sensitive can um, experience psychic attack. That's You could just pick up on somebody thinking negative thoughts about you, okay? We have happiness. I feel like generally this person was happy, um, cheerful, pleasant person. Now, here's these other cards I'm feeling some type of way about. We have an ending here. This could be anything that's, that's ending, okay? Doesn't have to mean that this person's life has ended. Although, I'm going to just be honest, sometimes I get this card a lot, okay, when someone has transitioned. And I'm not saying that this has happened, but it does not look good, y'all. I mean, and, and you, he's been missing since the end of June. I'm doing this reading, and I was in October, okay? I don't feel like this young man would just disappear for no reason and not contact his family. And that's not even me intuitively feeling it. I, that's just my personal opinion, okay? Um, so, we have moving. Yeah, I know. This could just be someone moving from one place to another. But you see these bags here. Someone is moving. He's moving. He chose to leave everything and just walk away and just go start another life. I'm not getting that. This car was found severely damaged, rolled over like... There's no way um, if this young man was in a car accident to survive something like that and, and if there's no trace of him, that just doesn't make sense to me. Okay. I feel like that could have been set up like that. And we have lying. Someone's not telling the truth. Okay. Do I feel this is Daniel's energy? I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I don't feel like this is him. Or what could he be lying about? Someone knows more than what they're saying. Okay? I feel like what's out there in the media is making it seem like this person is, is like he just went crazy and was harassing some, some lady, young girl. I don't know. It just don't make sense. Someone's not be telling the truth, okay? Someone's lying about what they know and what they don't know, okay? All right. Let me move this picture over a little bit. Now, I want to pull a few more from this deck. I got some questions here about this anger, this lying, this ending. Why is this anger card here in regards to Daniel Robinson? What is anger? What is this anger card here? Oh. Anger, ending, lying. 
All right, three cards fell out. Hmm. You got fear. Anger, fear. Careful with decisions. Stop. Something was going on with him. I do feel like something was going on with him. And there was a decision. This is a warning to think twice. We have letting go. I'm putting this fear with this anger. Okay. This letting go, I feel, goes with the ending. I don't like these two together, y'all. This is just telling me that this young man could be in the spiritual realm, okay? And I have this careful with decision with this lion here. That's just how I'm seeing to put this stuff together. So someone was afraid, someone was angry. Someone made a decision and they're lying about it. Why is this blinded card? One card, please, spirit. Oh. Why is this blinded card? Oh, goodness. Okay. Another choice. Never blinded about which path to take here mm, they didn't see what's going on with this young man and we got meditation someone trying to balance themselves okay let me put that there let me see what else wants to come out what else in regards to is there anything else spirit down here. Oh, God, I didn't want to see this. Haunted. And we have oh, some traveling. We have crystals. This is earth grounded energy. I don't know if he did any type of traveling around this time or that could be saying he's traveling somewhere i don't feel that i feel like this is in regards to some foul play here someone traveling i don't know walk away yeah there was there was some confrontation he was involved with I feel walking away from maybe this indicates him traveling in his vehicle or something happened oh anyway go I have a bad feeling I don't feel like this young man is alive I hope I'm wrong. I'm hoping maybe he just had an accident and is somewhere. Oh, and it's just not able to contact his family. I want to stay positive. These missing cases just be breaking my heart, y'all. It's, it's just be breaking my heart. Okay, I'm going to leave this. I'm going to clear this up, y'all. And I want to ask Spirit, Archangels, to show me the situation. I want some more clarity about this. 
Okay. I'm going to go to my tarot deck. I uh, feel the need to do a six card spread. Looking at past, present, future energies. The issue or the problem. The main the main challenge that was going on. So it definitely was something going on with him. But I don't feel like it's just all about him. Okay. Show us the six cards straight. Situation concerning Daniel Robinson. And his disappearance. His family wants to know and needs answers. Okay. Okay, let's see. Cut the back here. And this could be the days leading up to his disappearance or daily. This is the issue. Past energy leading into the present. Future energy. Regards to Daniel, this is the main issue of the problem. And this is the potential outcome of the situation. Okay. All right. Let's get into this. Present energies. During the time of his disappearance, we have the Page of Cups. Upright. This is a new feeling, a new offering. This could be offering of a beginning of a relationship, okay? And pages are young, and it's, I get an immaturity sometimes with the page page cards in the tarot, okay? Um, and not saying that this young man is immature, but what I mean is sometimes it's new, and it's, it's, it's a naivety about the person. This is emotional. This is feeling. This is emotions. So I feel like this is indicating... He had some type of new feeling about something that he felt in his heart center that he maybe wanted to offer to someone or wanted to pursue or was on his mind, his, his heart center, okay? Or, I'm hearing to shoot your shot. Maybe he, he showed an interest that he in someone or someone, something, okay? That was his, his energy that day. So, okay, now I just lifted this up. I don't know if this is upside down, but that's how it appeared. This is the star card. This is about hopes, desires, you, you having um, planning for the best of something, a, a positive outcome. You see this person, it's like a balance of, you have one foot in the water, one on earth. This is like a wish fulfillment. Hmm. Was he wishing for some type of a new opportunity, a new relationship with someone? Now, we could look at this as being, okay, 
a lot of water energy anyway. This is Aquarius, so this is air energy. We have water. But this is a challenge, okay? So I feel like he maybe lost hope of something. He he something that he was wishing for that that seemed like it might not come to fruition as it being a challenge, okay? Past energy. What was coming from the past coming into this page of cups? We have the page of pentacles in reverse. A lot of new opportunity, new energy, new start. Now, when you have a page of pentacles, it's the same thing as the page. It's something new. It's the start of something, a new offer, opportunity, a job. He was already, um, I guess this was a new, I don't know if this was a new job for him, but was in reverse but this is like the start of a project too um hmm this could represent lack of finances from the past okay I get it now I think this is in reverse because this was a, a, a start of a new opportunity a new job a new business venture but I feel like since it was still new that maybe he still was struggling financially okay this past energy coming into this present and then we have challenge here this future Oh, four of swords. This is a card of rest and rejuvenation. You were in some type of battle and now it's like, okay, it's time to take a step back. Now, multiple meanings. This is concerning because to me, this feels like he's in a resting period. He's not moving. Four is about stability. It's just like he's laying down in a on a, a coffin to me. Let me put that down here. This is future, okay? We haven't got here yet, but this doesn't look good already. Being in a future position. This could mean maybe he was hurt and he's in a hospital somewhere resting. And with him not maybe having any identification, maybe no one knows who he is. You got to look at all possibilities here. I'm not saying that I feel that, but I felt the need to say that here. Now, what's the reason behind this challenge here with this star card? A lot of earth energy, Knight of Pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> Just give me a second here. I feel like this could really be his energy. So, Knights of Pentacles. It's not, this is, is a positive upright. This is someone who is focused, okay? They're focused on that pentacle here. Now, this is not quick movement here. This is slow. Patience. Um... There is growth here with this, okay? But with this being the main challenge, I feel like this is saying he felt pressure of not being able to, to achieve what he needed to, to sustain himself. I don't know why. That's just what I'm getting, like slow movement. This is, a, this is the main reason why we have this challenge here hopes, desires, you wanting things to come through, but there's patience here. Pentacles is earth energy is slow, okay? It takes time. So maybe there was a, a impatient part of him or something just, just seemed like it was not moving fast enough. Um, also to put it out there, 
When you see pentacles, this could mean business opportunity, money, career. It could also represent health, okay? Picking up, it could have been some health issues with this person that he didn't know or didn't understand or didn't come out yet. Let me see. We're going to go with the outcome card, okay? Okay. We have the King of Wands. Fire energy. This is someone that's established. This is someone that's that's spiritually driven. Oh, I don't know why I get vibes of this is showing an outcome of a location for him. I don't know why I'm getting that. Look at this. This is all desert. This is desert. You see these little this is mountains back here you see the saliband this is desert could this be showing that this is the outcome he's going to be found out there in arizona in the desert oh that's just what i'm getting y'all let's let's get some clarifiers going here This can also be an energy of someone that could be involved in this situation with him missing. That's going to come out. Or someone that's going to find him. This also could represent his energy. I felt like this young man was, was driven. He, 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 even though he was young, I feel like he had some wisdom about himself. Okay. I want to know about this challenge here with this star card. Why is this star card here for the challenge in regards to Daniel? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Some cards that wanted to come out. I just want to be clear. Ten of Cups. There's a lot of pentacles here. This is for this challenge. Okay. So two cards came out. We're just going to read all of these. So I asked about the star card would be in the challenge in this situation. I got ten of cups. This is happiness. This is wanting to uh, uh, just ten represents completion, like happy family. Oh, boy. I don't know if this young man was, was in a relationship but this is about happiness, love, fulfillment. This is all heart-centered. This could be about a relationship, but this could just be about him in general, his life, his work. This was a challenge. I feel like this, this could have been an offering that maybe he wanted and then someone didn't, that didn't accept it. Or So we have this Knight of Pentacles. Slow movement is what I'm getting. Hmm. Someone working hard, trying to master something. Eight of Pentacles. A lot of earth energy here. And we have the Nine of Swords. Being worried up at night. This is overthinking too. When you see this, it's overthinking, overanalyzing. This is mental energy. It's 
something was going on, I feel like, with this young man. And it, oh, God, I don't want to say mental health. I don't know, but it could have even be something in his, his brain. Oh, why am I, I don't know why I'm, okay. This is not swords here. Overthinking. Worry. Something was, was bothering him in his, his thought processes. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. We got the two of swords. This is mental energy. Feeling stuck, conflicted on a decision. Something was going on with him. And I don't know if this was this mental breakdown or something that popped up. This could be um, something in his brain. It could be something medically that could have been causing confusion, okay? And we got seven of cups. This is a lot of different things going on in your mind. You up in the clouds. You have all these options. And you're trying to think of what decision do I make? He wasn't clear in some type of decision, okay? Oh, goodness. All right, that was the problem. Clarification on this page of cups. Page of cups. This is page of cups energy. Okay. We got eight of cups on top of the page of cups here. This is a new emotional feeling I offer, but this is leaving behind something that no longer serves your highest good that does, does not and, and and you see all these cups are filled this is emotions this is something emotional and he was feeling he need that that wasn't fulfilling him that he felt the need to walk away from wow was something going on? Maybe he had a change of heart of this, this job. Oh, man. This is... Let me see. Or this could be about a relationship. But I'm a little confused here. I don't think this is just all about relationship. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. We had a lover's card. It's some type of relationship. This could represent a relationship with his career or a, another person that's involved here. It was emotional. Somebody walked away from an emotional relationship or an offer that they didn't want to take. We have the will of fortune upright. Someone. This is a change, a big major change. Of, uh, uh, this, this is fate, okay? This is a major arcana. There's really <clears throat> a change of luck. Now, this is upright. It could be good luck, but it could also be bad luck, okay? Someone took a, took a chance here. Goodness. All right. I want to see what this king of wands for the outcome. Why is this king of wands here? We have the moon. This is things hidden. Secrets being revealed. Things in the dark, okay? We have this. I feel like this is saying that he's he's hidden. Something is hitting, hidden that's gonna come out. Okay. I, I hope that's. I hope it comes out. This could be a person involved. This could be physically him. Maybe because he 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 hasn't been found. Okay. Four of Swords. There's a lot of cards here. This is four of Swords here. Why is this four of swords here for a future position? Two cards again. Why is this four of swords here for a 
keep the position. Okay. So we have four swords. This is mental energy, air energy. And we got the seven of swords. The seven of swords is deception. Okay. Somebody, this is theft. This is someone, be, this is betrayal. Someone being sneaky, uh, not being honest. There's definitely, to me, foul play. Foul play. This is mental energy. Okay. This could be, um, someone trying to be a, a trickster, trying to deceive someone. This is like, you can't trust when this type of energy come out, you can't trust it. That's our answer here. There's, there's, there's more to the story. And it is confusing to me a little bit. I feel like there's a, a relationship. I don't know. Maybe it's something to this, this female. There's some deception going on here. I'm going to put this, this up here. Okay. Wow. Um, I want to know why that seven of swords came out in the future position. No, I, I didn't keep the cards out. Why is this seven of swords? That lying card that came out. Lying. Okay. Why is that seven of swords here? There's foul play going on in this situation. There's foul play. 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 Yes. Yes. We got the two of cups. Some type of relationship. That seven of swords indicate he knows someone. Someone lying, being deceptive in this situation. Okay. This whole scenario, him obsessing over this female, that that's some uh, that's some BS. I'm sorry. I'm six of wands, recognition, okay? This is a yes type of energy. All these cards holds a yes or no, okay? It's going to come out. Look at that. Someone losing a battle here. I asked about this two of cups. This card came out again. I can't make this stuff up. Eight of Cups. Someone walked away from a relationship. This could be him. I don't know. He started liking someone. He was thinking they were going to, you know, date. He walked away. It was, it was not wanted. Or that person walked away. Emotional, a lot of emotions, and I'm not. I, 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 the thing is, I don't feel no. I don't know. I don't feel like this. This young man just left and was emotional and wanted to end everything. I, I'm not getting that, but something is just not right here. Swords. Fast movement for something happened really quickly after this. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Is this in regards to the I 
goodness. Seven of Swords came out in the World card. This is completion. Full completion of a cycle. Happiness. Celebration. This is defending yourself. Challenges, but you pushing through. All right, y'all. Just one second here. I want to know from spirit, will this young man be found? Will Daniel Robinson be found? One card, please. Will he be found soon? Will his family get answers? Will he be found? We got to stay hopeful. I feel like this is a yes, that he will be found. I hope this is true, y'all. It's upright. This is light. Light energy, love energy. He will be found. Okay, will he be found? Safe. One card, please. Will Daniel be found? Safe. Safe. Will Daniel be found? Safe. Daniel be found. Hold on. Destiny. Oh no. Will he be found safe? It can go either way with this destiny card. But then I have this suffering in silence, and that gives me a no. Then I get this harmony card. I want to ask. Again, will Daniel be found safe? Spirit, one card at a time, please. Daniel be found safe. So this is indicating yes. See, it's this triumph success. This is a sword. This is like communication information. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. That is a good sign. Daniel, alive and well. I know what I feel, but I still want to see what the cards. Daniel, alive and well, spirit. Daniel, alive and well. Alive and well. This is a no. Just uh, this is upside down. This is movement, choices, and decisions. Material harvest. So, and I just recently started reading 
reversals. This up is moving on. You're moving out of harm's way. But it was upside down. So that means that this is stagnant energy. We got choices, movement, decisions. Okay. There's a decision made. There's no decision. I don't, I'm not. If he's alive and well, I feel like these would be upright. Okay. So it's mixed messages for me right now with this young man. If he's alive or not. I don't feel that he is, but I could be wrong in that. I'm hoping so. I'm going to wrap this up. Let me just ask some questions with this card. So Daniel, is he alive, spirit? Is Daniel alive and well? Is he alive, spirit? One card at a time. Oh my goodness. Y'all look at the, I asked if he was alive and well and I get this card. It already came out before. Four of swords. And you know what? I Fours is iffy. It could go either way, but I don't get a good feeling with this card. Could he be resting, healing? Yeah, but he could be in the spiritual realm. Oh, goodness. I'm, I'm going to end this. I don't even know. Oh. That's one more time. Okay, I got the nine of wands in reverse. I'm going to take this as a no, and I'm going to leave it alone. Let's hope for the best. Upright, yes, you're battered, you're beat up, but you're still holding on. You're still up, you're still, you know, at the end. You're still pushing through. This means... You're no longer pushing through. You're the strength. You don't have the strength left. So I'm going to end this reading. Ooh, I'm done. This went a little longer than expected. Um, I pray that his family gets answers that this young man can be found. Okay. Because this just doesn't make sense. It, it doesn't make sense at all. Um, please share this video comment I thank y'all for watching until next time y'all take care of yourselves peace and blessings to you